Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you the new Google Image in 3 text to image generator and then we'll compare it to the uh, Bing slash Copilot slash Dolly image generator and we can see how they compare to each other. All right, so once you go to the site here, you just go to the DeepMind site here then you click on try it on image FX. Then you'll have your prompt window here and here's where you'll see your results. And then it offers you some suggestions here. So what kind of attributes you want to apply to your image. Uh, and then you could also click on I'm feeling lucky, just like with a Google search. And then if you click on more, it'll kind of refresh it. All right, so let's just start with a basic prompt without any of these attributes here. Okay, so a spaceship on the moon being attacked by UFOs with aliens looking out the windows of the UFOs make the surface of the moon very detailed. All right, let's copy this so we could put it into Bing when we're done here. Now you can see when you're generating your prompts here, it gives you suggestions with these drop downs if you want to change anything up. All right, so we have our examples here. That's okay. You know, a little bit of detail on the moon. I don't see the aliens looking out the window. Then up here, you could toggle your views if you want to do that. Okay, that's all right. Not too bad. Let's try it over here. Okay, so pretty good here. I say the uh, Bing results are better than the Google results for this particular one. All right, so let's try something different here. So we'll clear the screen. All right, so let's try a realistic photo of a man playing guitar on the beach on a rainy day. Copy the prompt here. This one looks pretty good, pretty realistic. Okay, not too bad. Let's try it out over here. Okay, so nice looking images, but not super realistic. All right, let's go back over here. All right, so now if we click on edit image, we could mark what we want to edit here. So let's just say this. And for our change, all right, make the man stick his tongue out. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting change there. And we have a few examples. Takes away from the realism a little bit, but still not bad. All right, let's clear the screen here. All right, so now let's try some of the attributes here. So let's do sketchy, handmade, illustration, cinematic and bleak. Okay, now we put in our prompt. Okay, so have a white tiger playing cards with dogs in a casino, place a bunch of cheering superheroes in the background, and then we're gonna apply all of these attributes here. And of course you have drop downs for these as well. So let's copy this. If you click on copy, it's going to copy these attributes too. So we're just gonna highlight it and copy it this way.
Okay, so sometimes you will get this. That's why I put in the word superheroes, because I think uh, if it tries to create something that's either copyrighted or inappropriate, then it's going to uh, just give you this blank screen like this. So let's change this. Let's use one of the suggestions and see if that fixes the problem. All right, so we still got a couple that it couldn't show for some reason, but it doesn't tell you why. So it made some of the villains dogs as well, which is interesting. All right, so I guess it took it upon itself to uh, interpret what I meant there. All right, so let's try this over here real quick. And then, by the way, when you're using Bing, once you create your images here, you could open them up in the uh, Copilot Designer and actually edit them from there. Okay. So this actually made some of the dogs cheering as well. Actually use Superman and Spider-Man, Iron Man. Okay, not too bad. Okay, let's go for one more realistic picture here. All right, close up on the face of an 80 year old woman, make it very photorealistic and add a lot of detail. Let's copy this here. All right, so that's pretty good. That's not too bad either. So it only gave us two examples though. Okay, let's try it over here. Okay, not too bad. I don't think it's as realistic as the other one, but it has a lot of detail. Okay, so now what we're going to do is see how well it follows instructions. Okay, so have a box on the ground with a ball on top of it. To the left of the box, place a toaster. To the right of the box, place a microwave. On top of the microwave, place a shoe. Not the best grammar, but we'll see how it does here. Let's copy it here. Okay, so we have our box with the ball. And then to the left, we have our toaster. To the right, we have our microwave, but it put it on top of another box. And then I put a shoe on top of the microwave, but added another ball. Two microwaves in that one. Microwave and the toaster on top of the box. And then a similar thing here. So not the best at following instructions, but it could have been my prompt as well. So let's try it over here. Okay, so this didn't do a very good job either. So this kind of shows you how important the prompt structure is, just like with any of these AI tools, to get the best results, you're gonna to have to word your prompt appropriately. Okay, then when you click on settings, you also have some other options here for best quality. It looks like best quality or best quality. And then seating for variety. Then you have your history and so on. And then over here, you have your history as well. And then when you click on one of them, you could share it, save it, download it, customize it in designer and even resize it. All right. So there is your basic overview of the new Google image in three text to image generator. 
So I will put a link in the description and all you need to do is sign in with your Google account and you get to start playing with it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.